we're live. What? Is this, ha is this live? It's Are we happening. live live? It's happening, Nay. There's no going back. We can't edit this? No. Wait a second. There's no editing. Hold on. I told you how a live stream works. Do they know this is a backdrop behind us? You gotta be kidding this me. This is not even an RV. We don't live the <laughs> RV life. This has all been a joke for the past six years. <laughs> I just got the thumbs up from uh, Jeannie that we're all good. She can hear us. Before we go any further, I have to forewarn you guys. We are in Alaska and we're Ooh. solely relying on Starlink right now. Please be patient with us. If you notice your TV, computer, phone kind of glitches and we're frozen, like, Maybe just wait should, it out. We should play joke on them. They'll wait it like... out. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, please be patient. It's it's the RV life, right? I mean, you guys know how Starlink is if you have it. <laughs> and if you don't, that's okay. We'll get to that in a little bit. We have lots to go over today, and we just want to say first and foremost, thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with us on this wonderful Sunday evening. We love seeing your beautiful faces. Yeah. I mean, if we, we're assuming those beautiful faces that we meet out in the road all the time are here watching mm -hmm. us, so we got a good looking audience. We do. I gotta say. As people are piling in on the back, let's move forward here. Yeah, Make just, space. Yeah. We got plenty of room up front here, okay? Don't be shy. Yeah. Bring it in. I know how it is. Yes. We don't bite. They're like, you, we do though. Do you realize this is a live stream? <laughs> like, oh, I forgot. Goodness. This is where they get to see like how weird we actually are in person. It doesn't yeah. get much more weird than this. I mean, this is. Is anyone here? This is our first live stream in our new desk setup too. So this is pretty good, right? I don't know. Can they? They should see me, not you. More. Let me see. Okay, good. Well, first and foremost, we would like to thank. Besides you guys for being here and taking time out of your beautiful, wonderful Sunday evening, mm -hmm. we like to thank our moderators. We have the one and only, well, both, not the one, but we have Ray and Jason from The Getaway Couple. And, um, you know, before we got to meet Ray and Jason, we were followers of their channel. Yes. And they have dedicated their time to moderating tonight for us and keeping things in check. So thank you guys. You guys rock. You guys should know the getaway couple, but if you don't, uh, they have a YouTube channel where tons of information on the RV life. It's what helped us get into RV living back in the day. Mm -hmm. They're still doing uh, videos and they also have a blog that is rocking. Off so the charts. If you guys don't mind uh, Ray and Jason sharing your link so people know where to go in the group chat. They'll be in the description. Yeah, the group chat over here on the side. That's not bad. And some of you people might be watching this live from a TV, and if you are, you might not be able to see. There's a chat going on, and it's just going really fast on the right side. So if you're wondering why we're always referring to stuff and links and this and that, that's where it will be. But you can also comment, like a normal YouTube comment below. Just throw that out there. And then the other person we have moderating with us, we have some exciting news. We brought someone into the fam here, okay? Yes. So arms wide open, everyone. Yes. For a big squeeze, We're okay? Yes. She's part of our team now, so Jeannie is actually on board with us. You may have remembered her from previous videos, like when we're boondocking out in the desert and all that. So we brought her onto the team and said, listen, we don't know what we're doing with this. We need all the help we can get coming out with merch ideas and all that she's been incredible and yeah. she's also moderating she's been tonight. with us since january or december and without her we would have not gotten the merch store launched we would have not been able to start doing meetups um the spanish channel there's so much behind the scenes that goes on and she has been so so helpful so Jeannie, thank you so much she's our other moderator tonight well, i mean we and, yeah. we needed her we did we needed her <laughs> As we go along, we just want to say thank you to everyone that is helping to support us by giving us some money. That is so sweet. It yeah, actually doesn't go to what... us. It goes to Dexter in his belly. <laughs> so he's over on the couch. He's like, thank you so much. He asked to finish his nap before he comes on. So Appreciate you, Gonzo Book. And... Oh, you can click on it. Okay. All right. Bubba Country. Yeah. That's the, ma the mouse. You, you hold the mouse like this. I don't know how you to You right click this. with your pointer. And then if you want to click like... To open up options, you use the other side. This he doesn't be, know. This is going to be a long hour if we don't get this under <laughs> control here. Okay. Kick us off here, Nene. I'm oh. letting you lead us. 
lead us out here. Show me, show me the way. Let's give you an overview okay. of what's going on of this live stream. Okay. okay, so we got some announcements. We're gonna breeze through those announcements, and then we're gonna go over the mattress winners. So we're doing a Brooklyn Bedding RV mattress giveaway, and a lot of you, we got a lot of signups. We did. So thank you everyone that signed up for this. We have been sleeping so comfortably at night. Oh my gosh. Last night, you hogged up the whole bed. Yeah. So I don't know what was going on there. Dexter too. Yeah, well, you need, not, need I say more? <laughs> We've been sleeping amazingly, and it's been helping a lot being here in Alaska. It's been an adjustment period, yeah. as you guys have seen in the videos, with the whole sunlight issue. But yeah, as far as the bed, it's been really nice. So whoever wins these two mattresses tonight, it's going to be some good stuff coming your way. And, uh... Besides the mattress winners, you want to stick around because we have a rapid fire Q&A. We asked you guys to submit questions on a Facebook post and we also did a community tab through uh, YouTube. So we have like over 20 something questions that we're just going to be like pow, pow, pow. Is that how it goes? Uh, something like that. Yeah, I think. I'm just making sure we're still here with everyone because, you know, as we go along, it's like <laughs> I saw the live, the live chat just like kind of came to a halt. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So far, so good. I still see a so far, so good from That's the great. moderators. Cool. That's a plus. Okay. So thank you, Tina and Mr. Dickinson. You guys. Thank you guys mm, so much. Appreciate for the super that. Chat. So sweet of you guys. And um, oh, and save the best for last. We're gonna tell you. This was actually a big decision if we were gonna tell you guys or not, but we're gonna share our travel plans for like upcoming. And the reason we don't share our travel plans a lot is because we aren't good planners. Like mm. the whole point of being the RV life is you don't want to plan. You just want to kind of go wherever the wind takes you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is I kind of get that. Yeah. So, which it's windy really bad right now in Alaska. So that's, that's making me nervous. But that's what we're going to share at the end. Yes, we'll get there. All in good time. Tentative plans because you never know. You never know where you this live stream will take us. So we're excited about that. Mm. Mm. Okay, tell them about the about the oh, shirt real okay. quick too. So da 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 da. One of our shirts. Can you see? Can you see? Um, this shirt is leaving the merch store in like two weeks. Labor Day. How far away is Labor Day? Um, that's next weekend, I believe. I want to um, say. Yeah. So Labor Day is the last day. Next weekend. Yeah. Not only is it leaving the merch store. Um, 10% off of this shirt only. So if you go to the store, here, like, can you see it? <laughs> if you go to the store and you go to checkout, the discount will already be applied at checkout. So you don't have to worry about all that extra work. And uh, once this shirt leaves, it ain't coming back. And the reason we're getting rid of it is so we can roll out some new designs. So, okay, love it. Moving so, on. yeah, moving right along. What's next on the agenda? Let me look. You wrote out the list. I'm trying not to like just jump in there and take the reins because usually that ends Here, up. Here, let me fix this. I have can to we... do that. Oh, how'd you do that? I just hit a button. I told you the mouse. You just. Oh, you, you should click. be doing this. Thank you guys so much for all the super chats. We really appreciate you all. In case we missed anybody, I see Michael. You guys are awesome. Okay. Let's see. Continue the story there, baby cakes. Um, in a video two weeks ago. Rainy made a joke about throwing a spare tire into a river and I just want to reiterate that that was a joke that was not their tire that tire was already there I think the joke went over some people's heads so we just wanted to reiterate that we would never support something like that plus Keith and Rainy would never they're like green people yeah it was all a joke I was like I remember editing that I was like I hope people don't take this seriously like we would throw a spare tire in the river so we just have to clear the air and be like yes. that wasn't our spare tire that okay. was that was not us somebody else had an issue there so I'm, I hope a lot of people got the joke yes for sure um also oh my god Goodness, you guys are amazing. I can't keep up here. And how do you make the side chat go here? You're I'm having a hard time. I'm going that. back up. I'm just technolog technolo how do you say that? Technologically Thank you. Not advanced. That's what I meant. Kimberly, thank you. Bob, we appreciate you. Michael, we got you. You guys are incredible. Thank you guys so much for the super chat. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so let's talk about this right here. I'm gonna zoom in on it. I got a little I'm looking at my notes on my phone. Don't look. Right here, Don't so we look. can see. We did have the Alaska meetup, so we wanted to kind of reiterate how that went. We'll bring it to the video in a YouTube video coming soon. Yeah, we filmed it. We had a great time. 
and uh, we talked about it in a video before, but our videos are like a few weeks, sometimes months behind. We film so much and uh, we're moving so much. So like our videos are behind. The Alaska meetup happened. And if you're wondering, how did I not know about it? Well, the email newsletter, guys. We send that out every week. It is free. It goes along with the video as well. And yes. we describe kind of a little bit catching you up to speed on what yeah. happened this previous week, what's coming in that week's video, and any other exciting announcements like future meetups. Yes. We don't release that on the channel. There's a lot of people out there watching. Because so, we're so behind. Yeah, so we just want to make sure we're bringing you up-to-date information within the newsletter. Yeah, so it's through, all you have to do is sign up with your email, mm -hmm. and every Thursday when our video drops, that email goes out, and it's just really quick. Like if we have any discounts on merch or meetups or if we're going to any shows, yeah. that's all in there. Absolutely. So we do have some other meetups coming soon, tentatively, based well, upon travel plans. And I'm not going to go too deep we're into We're going to share that at the end. But I'm throwing that out there. Calm down, Carl. Calm down, Carl. Hashtag calm down, Carl. Carl's got his... <laughs> exciting pants on today i'll try to calm <laughs> calm my role here goodness gracious let me see here mm, oh yeah future event like we're trying to do more meetups so if you want to get in on the meetups you know you just got to be on the list you don't have to pay to know about the meetups like you don't have to pay to be on some insider thing no it's totally free to know about the meetups but you have to check your email that's all we ask of you so <laughs> If it. you've signed up and your emails aren't coming through, please let us know. Or you might have to create a new email because sometimes the one you signed up with is like not a good one and it just bro it broken or something. I don't know. Okay, Dexter's coming. I'm trying to read through <laughs> some of these comments. Mud Mama Chronicle, uh, thank you for your donation. Have an exciting camping trip upcoming. First one. Woo -woo! We'll see you out here, <laughs> Mr. Pistol. Thank you very much, BW. I appreciate you. We're gonna get into some of those questions actually here momentarily yeah that's so. that's one i think we're going to be answering yes Let's, sarah yvette you look that i'll look at this okay robin and adventures with some peeps here i get it's like dot 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 adventures dot 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 thank you guys so much with the fox emoji that's really cool too okay all right some other Woo! things that i don't want to like bore people with in the video mm -hmm. but i feel like it needs to be said is we have an amazon store um, and that is on our web. You can access it through a website or you could just Google Happily Ever Hanks Amazon store. And that is where we put so many items from our videos or things we own. Mm -hmm. And some people will say, what kind of camera gear do you guys use? We have a whole section in our Amazon store of all the camera gear we use. Good point. The reason I'm saying this is like, because every time we do a video, <clears throat> we will put items from that video in the video description. So if there's a, you see us using a vacuum cleaner or we're rolling up the tonneau cover or we're using the Vi Air, we make sure each video we go through and we're like, okay, this is what's in this video. We put it in the description, which leads me to the next issue. Mm. The mm. video description. I hear you guys. It is really hard to find. And that is YouTube. I don't like- Thanks YouTube. Th thanks YouTube. It doesn't make it easy for anybody. It took us the longest time to figure it out. It's really, really confusing. And I'm going to show you guys right now on my phone. So if you guys, a lot of you guys like to watch on the TV and you can access the video description from a TV, which I think is weird because you can't click links. Like are you get through your TV, like smart TV? We don't. Yeah, no. Um, which, let's... yeah, that leads me, yeah, while you're looking at that, it does help if you have your cell phone nearby. So anytime we're like, hey, like this video or hey, check out this, we'll leave it in the description. Kind of just pull it up on your phone real quick and click on the video that way. Much more easy to use and handle. Okay, I clicked our most recent video. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys can see this. If you it? click. You might want to bring it a little bit closer. Okay, hold on. Right below the title, there's like a little bit, a couple words. There's some Bring tags. It in. <laughs> Bring it in. Right here, it says more. Right there. You click more, which takes you to another drop down box. Wow. It's, I don't know why YouTube makes, look, we're getting close here, guys. Bring we're it in. in. Nope, don't be scared. I don't know why YouTube makes it so complicated, but mm -hmm. they do. You click. <laughs> I'm watching my video. <laughs> you click this, and then you see some more interesting random things. There's like chapters, t uh, transcript, and I know you guys are scrolling to find it. Once again, you have to click show more, or it just says more. And there's the description, finally. You have to click two really small things that say more. 
On the desktop version, I think it said show more, but there it is. So in this video, like we have our batteries, our laundry basket, the tool, like uh, the bucket boss, how we keep our tools organized. We try to put as many things as we can in there. So if there's a sign up for a giveaway or merch or anything you may want to look at, that's how you find it. Whew. Whew. Goodness. That was a lot. You feel better now? You got no, a lot to get off your chest. I'm still mad that YouTube makes it so complicated. They're like, click more and then click more again. Okay, yeah, that's true. I kind of feel comfortable here, though. Now that I'm here, I'm like, I'm not backing up. You guys back up if you feel uncomfortable. If not, bring it in because I'm cool with that, too. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Sylvia. And I think we're caught up there. I appreciate I you think guys. Bob, thank you very much. It's Beauty and the Beast, same old story. I like that. You guys rock. <laughs> I feel like we should be playing music during this. We should be Cheers, like... Cheers, Debbie. Or from Deb and Shane, excuse me. Cheers, Deb and Shane and the baby boom generation we appreciate you guys Woo! thank you very much i apologize once again if the quality is not incredible here mm. but man it seems like we're going strong yeah so what are good. we youtubers or something come on something like that Goodness. um we're getting there guys we're getting there i know so many of you guys are like i just want to know if i want a mattress yeah just give me a second we're i have one there. more thing to say okay because there's a lot of dexter fans out there there's a lot of people that are like i don't care about carl anything. i'm just here for dexter so, if you want more of Sexy Dexy in your life, you're going to want to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. So, we don't post as much on those platforms as we do on YouTube. YouTube is our main shebang. But, if you get on TikTok, you get on Instagram, you're going to get a little extra of Dexter if behind the more, scenes. If you want more stinky butt, he's yes. up there on the TikTok. We're mm -hmm. always messing around with him there. Yeah. Throwing like, if he's little... being cute during the day, I'll put him on stories or something. Or short, short little clips of him just mm -hmm. goofing around. And he is, uh, he's sleeping. He's lazy as ever. Are you going to wake up? Because you're going, you're going to get live soon. All right. All right. Good. Great. Okay. Why don't you, uh, let's get on with this. Should whole, we get on with this? Let's the... get on with this. So we don't have to keep everyone hanging on here. Poor guys. I feel like so bad for everybody. They're like, can you? I don't know. Should we give it like another half hour? No. Oh, okay. Let's All go. Right. I'm Got excited it. myself. Thank you, Luna. We appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ah. Oh, yes. This is fun. We should go live Okay, let me get day. my setup. I'm on my, uh, what, what have we been calling it in the truck? And, uh, Navigation, navigation station. Navigation station. I'm on my navigation. Okay. That navigation station. We had over 6,000 people sign up for this giveaway. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle, for the super chat. I'm catching them before you are. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> 6,000 people is a lot of people. So we're really excited to give away two mattresses thanks to Brooklyn Bedding. They're hooking us up, um, or hooking you guys up, I should say, yeah. whoever the winners are. Now, before we go forward, whoever is a winner, don't worry. If you're not here on the live stream when it exactly happened, we're going to shoot you an email. Yes. We're going to bug you. Yeah, you're getting an email right after this. And um, But we've reiterated this in the signups, and we're going to say it again, is that if you don't respond within 24 hours of the email, if we don't hear from you, mm -hmm. we are going to draw another winner. So if you don't hear your name in this live stream, don't give up all hope because yeah. we're going to draw another person, not on a live stream. We'll just do it randomly again ourselves. And we'll reach out to you via email. Right. And the reason we do that is sometimes robots get into these signups. And we don't want, like, we want to make sure these mattresses like, go to a human. What so. robots? I don't, robots need a place to sleep too, I guess. Oh, okay. You know, everyone gotcha. thinks that they're just mechanical, but. Okay, excuse me. Um, so how are we gonna do this? The best way, thinking outside the box, we could do is okay. we took a number generator to yeah. kind oh, of like me. randomly pick a number. We just found it on the iPad. So okay. we're gonna type in the number one. Hmm. Are you following what I'm saying here? Give I'm laying it out for you here. I'm trying to talk and slowly. And make sure you understand. Yeah, I got a thing. Okay, that that's awesome. <laughs> we click number it. Number zero. Well, let me enter how many we have. Okay, so, so we got one is the bottom number. Well, one is is the top of this. Technically, it starts at two because one is the e. It says email and okay, you know how you. Excel is. And then the last number. So are you two. ready for it? Yes. Six thousand fifty-eight. That is six zero five eight. Six thousand fifty-eight mm -hmm. signups. Woo! That is exciting. So this is like the Pennsylvania lottery. Well, we're not all from Pennsylvania. I know, you? but if you're from Pennsylvania, there you go. Okay. 
<laughs> That's all I remember as a kid. That would play like every day or something. Okay. Okay, make sure you're, you're oh sharing with everyone because I feel like... I am, I am. Whew. All right, so we'll do two winners here. I'm going to say the number and he's going to correlate the list. You know what you I'm get nervous. What we're saying. You know what we're saying. I'm nervous. Are you guys nervous? The you guys got your too. crossing fingers on the couches or the phone? <laughs> you guys are like... Pick me, pick me. How many of you are out there, I just in your mind, are you the type of person that's like, yeah, I never win anything. That is me too. I love how people are typing in numbers. Like, they know <laughs> what their number is. Um, they're like, hey, I actually know what my number is. <laughs> that is great. Okay. Okay, let's get into this. I feel like we should have Dexter. Well, Dexter will hit it twice. He's, he's, okay, let's do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, let's oh my gosh. Dexter. Oh my God, but his, no, his, honey, his paw's going to hit it twice. He will hit once. I promise. Stinky butt is good. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Dexter's doing it. Okay. Once? Okay. Just once. Just once. Uh, okay, there oh, we go. There we go! There's 4, our good, good job! I'm like, I'm like that person who their kid does like nothing, and I'm like, I'm so proud. You did so amazing. No, Dexter, it's just you and, it's just you and me and mom right <laughs> now. There's not 3,000 Let's hide your caller so we're not getting text messages. Okay, 4,354. Give me one moment here. He's got to scroll. 4, Who is fourth? Okay, here we go. We're going to... You guys are like, could you go any slower announcing the winners? We could, probably. 4,354. 4,354. Okay, 4, here 3, we 5, go. 4,354. 4, 3, 4. John Hull. H-U-L-L. -L. Woo! John, John Hull. 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 H-U-L-L. Are you here tonight? If you're not, don't, are you don't live sweat with it. Us? We're going to email you and bug you. And now, now 700 people are going to be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> We have your email, up. John. We're gonna send you an email shortly. Hopefully, you respond. Let me highlight. And you, you get know. yeah, highlight that so I don't and the email. Oh, okay. Now you're asking a lot here. Okay. Okay, we have our first winner. Yay, Yay John! Good job. That was awesome. Okay, you can see. Whew. Go all the way back down. I'm not having him choose the next one because okay, I don't yeah, trust. Okay, yeah, definitely not. I mean. Okay. Wait, are Boom. we backed up on the super chat? Yeah, we are. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> trying to do my best. We here. are so bad at this. Thank you, Sai. And for the super chat, Larry Schaefer, Jennifer, all you guys, Mary, Mary upstate that upstate couple. couple. Glenn with the hearty thing with the I, fox. Oh That's God. pretty nice. Bill and Mary, thank you so much. Starting my super first chat. RV travel nurse labor day. Make Woo! it happen, Captain. Love it. <laughs> Congrats, by the way. Thank you, Glenn, Glenn, again. Goodness. Paula, r &L Carver, Dave, and Jason. Hello from Texas. Well, hello from Alaska to you, sir. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Right, ready for the next one? I think you should do it. I'm nervous. Like, because oh, you're know. wearing the letter rip shirt. Mm, okay. You ready to let uh, okay, rip? Okay, here's our second winner. And remember, if these people don't respond, we're drawing again. Goodness, Dexter. And I we'll, got hair in my mouth. Not live. We'll just send you an email and be like, hey... You won because the other person didn't get back. Okay, to here us. we go. Oh. Ah, gotcha. Oh! Three, two, five, three. Three, two, five, three. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. Should I repeat it again? Three, two, five, three. Mm -hmm. Holy mackerel! I love all you guys. This oh. is awesome. <laughs> three, two, five, three. Three, two, five, three. I'm just sitting here waiting, <laughs> watching the airplane. Three. Okay, so three, two, five, three. Three, two, five, three. You got that? Okay, you're right. <clears throat> Roger. Cahoon? 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 Something. Roger Cahoon. Way to go, John and Roger. You guys are getting emails as soon as this live stream is done. Dexter is in the IT department. He's going to make sure these emails go out. He's making it happen. But before He's... you guys go anywhere, because I know you're like, all right, I'm out of here. I know. These guys are Everyone's boring, leaving. and I don't want to watch any more of their stuff. We have a couple more things we need to go over with questions, some salty questions that y'all are asking. Cringy so, questions mm -hmm. and our travel plans are coming up. Okay, that's exciting. Okay, so also, congrats to John and Roger. Okay, can I just say something? I'm mm. not trying to sound pitchy or salesy, but yeah, so okay. many of you guys reached out or commented, like, I really hope I win. I really need a new mattress. Mm -hmm. We, we're in the same boat. We held off so long getting a mattress. And any mattress company, we're not sitting here saying like, oh, you have to go with the one we went with. Do your own research, whatever you need to do, get yourself a mattress because we have been sleeping great. Mm -hmm. We've had so much energy. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but ever since we upgraded our sleeping game, we've had so much energy. We've been able to like get out and like lose some weight and eat healthy. Like it's all been lining up. So yeah. as a nurse, I like to relate it back to sleep. 
Yeah, sleep is the most important thing. And we did a lot of research and yes. landed on Brooklyn bedding, and we're really happy we Good. stuck with them. So it's funny that people put off getting a mattress when like you sleep every day. It's That's like true. so important. So don't do what we did. But they're if- like, uh, but how about X Trox? I'm like, no, you gotta yeah, <laughs> back it up just a little bit. You know, those X That's true. It's know. like people get all these upgrades that are things you might not really use, but it's like, but then it's like you, something you sleep on. You're like, that. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Um, but if you do want a discount on a mattress with Brooklyn Bedding RV Mattress, we can give you a discount. So use Hanks. Yeah, just type in H A N K S in the discount code and it will pop off like 20, 25% somewhere in there. Something like that. A good amount. It will take off a good amount. Yeah. Awesome. Let's move on. Well, that's been exciting. Okay. So congrats I'm... to the Brooklyn Betting winners. Mm-hmm. Love it. And okay. thank you, uh, Brooklyn Betting, for sponsoring this giveaway. Because we would love to be able to give everybody a new mattress, but it don't work that way. Okay. So we're going to start off with question number one here. We're just going to go right into it because I want to show you guys. Boom. Here we go. Is that going to do that every oh, single no. time? <laughs> It's going to do it every time. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Okay, so what is your dream RV, and what do you think your next one will be? Hit it, Nene. Oh, am I supposed to know the answer? Yeah, um, you're supposed to know. The RV we can afford or a yacht. <laughs> or a yacht? I always say, like, my dream RV is a yacht on the water. But realistically, um, it would be cool to have a Class A someday, and uh, cool. that's it. And if we start in a fifth wheel, I, I'm not sure. I mean, those DRVs are really nice. Too. Yeah, there's some really cool fifth wheels out there. Yeah. So we got our eyes set. We're not trying to upgrade immediately. You guys know how it is having a budget, and like these things are stinking pricey. I'm yeah. looking out here, seeing yeah. everyone drive some Integras, and I'm like, hats off to you, my fine folks, because that's pretty cool. That's life goals. So, well, we really love the model we're in, which is a Grand Design Solitude 2930RL. It's great. We love it. We're keeping it. Heck yeah. Okay. Is it gonna? <laughs> text there that is gonna be so obnoxious okay how many miles have you gone in a year have you ever camped in wisconsin we touched uh, base in wisconsin one time i think the most now this is towing miles a couple years ago we went nine thousand, but this year we're gonna beat that because we're already at like 8500 miles towing miles and we still have to drive back through the lower to the lower 48 so mm. this year is gonna be yeah over nine thousand. well how many Probably 10,000 miles at least, Easily for sure. 10, Easily. We were mapping it with the RV Life app, and from Florida all the way to Alaska, it's just like, wow. I yeah. cannot believe we drove that far already this year. Yeah. Um, it's insane. We drove through Wisconsin, and wherever the big green giant statue is, we overnighted there. And then at some lake, we overnighted. That's true. But we do want to spend more time in, like, the Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin states. Like, that's it. on the list, for sure. Okay, okay, another, the cat. here we go, Dexter, get off the screen. Are you getting a new RV? No. no. Well, should we? Like, is that, is, is, are you asking because you think we should because it's always breaking or something? We have no intentions of getting a new RV. We love this thing. Also, before we go any further with this Q&A, if you guys, some of these questions, I feel like a lot of you guys want to help and ask in the live chat. Comment below the live chat itself. Just like a normal YouTube video, before below this live stream, there's a comment section. So if you feel like you can answer a question that can help somebody in the future if they rewatch this, please share it below because this live chat disappears. Yeah, it will go away. It'll go away run. after so much time. And I hate that people who want to share great knowledge, I hate that that would go away. So That's true. Jeff, thank you very much for the mula. Dexter is rubbing his belly over here. He's like, mmm, fancy feast. We appreciate you guys and hope to see you on the road one day soon. He's so tired. Joyce, oh, thank you very much. That's wonderful. Colin. Thanks, Colin. We love you too, man. Michael. Appreciate that. For the super chat, you guys are great. And Jeff. And Jeff. You guys are, man, okay. You guys are too sweet. Paula, Mm, man, you guys are wonderful. Okay, here we go with the next question. Why did you do the cat thing, by the way? That was you. We'll talk that, about this. Okay, right. we'll, right. talk, we'll wait. Oh, that's tiny. Uh, hold on. Let me change this over here. When might you looking to go to New Hampshire or Maine? Would love to join you both. And how old is Dexter? Max is seven. Dexter is eight. This is a Dexter question. Uh, we'll get him on here for it again. Oh. I know. I know. I know you're laughing. I know. Thanks, okay. Pamela. You Say, rock. Say, I am eight. Eight. And when were we going to New Hampshire or Maine again? Uh, we have never been there yet, so we're hoping to do that Next soon. Next summer, maybe? 
Not sure. Once again, it's kind of up in the who air. Who knows with plans changing? We'd like to do it, and it's a summer destination, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> His face. It is. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that actually just popped up there, like normal, like it didn't yeah, transition. Can, is that showing? Huh. Is I wonder it? if you guys are seeing this right now, because that might have fixed it. I'm not sure. Yeah, are you guys seeing the question about, um, oh, how long we've known each other for? Or is this the Hershey RV show one? I, I can't know. see. I can't see it. Hey, man. Oh, I'm moving our Oh, screen. this is how long we've been married or known each other. Oh, okay. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see it. But if not, the question is... <laughs> How long we know, let's just we'll just say how long have we known each other? No, how long we've, we've been married? How long we've known each other before married? Also, happy birthday, Dale! <laughs> happy birthday, Dale! Okay, you go ahead. You take this one. Uh, we've been married for we've be, <laughs> we've been married for five years, and before that we were together. We got engaged after two years, mm -hmm. so 2014 is when we met. Wow. Time is flying. I know. Where's time going? So we almost like been together for 10 years. Kyle was an EMT in the area and I was a nurse in the ER. And if you work the medical field, you just know. You just know. <laughs> when is Dexter getting a new brother or sister? He is not. Not yet, at least. If maybe he's in the future, do you, have, you can change your full-time status. Mm. I don't know. If, and if there's a baby Hanks on the way, we might keep rocking this RV life. I think we'll see. keep yeah. rocking. Yeah, we're, we don't. We're not quitters in this family. So uh, to address the, are the Hanks having a family, or would we like to have a baby someday? We are really hoping. So send us send us some good vibes because we would like to have a family someday. What are these? What is this? I don't like, know. Is that like? Give me one of these. Get, Everyone. Um, you wait. Know, why is this turned towards you more? Because it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> On to the next one. Are you guys still doing nursing? No. We are not doing nursing. At, right now. Right now. I mean, we keep up with all of our licenses, but, uh, you know, I found out more and more spending time with you guys has been taking up some time in life, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I just need to focus my priorities straight here. Well, it's one or the other. Yeah. Like, we can't – YouTube is, like, a, more than a full-time job, and producing videos and editing and filming – so it's like we can't do nursing and that at the same time. It's just the reality of it. That's so. true. That's a good point. At the moment, we're full-time YouTubers, and but we're currently working on some other projects, and we're excited about the future, like what's coming with all that. On the back end. All right. Have you ever had your wheels inspected, repacked your wheel bearings? Ooh. Mm, no, not when, in a while. When they get replaced at the dealer, which was... That's something I got to do. More than a year ago. So <sighs> thanks for the reminder. Yeah, that was, yeah, adult life, right? Am I right? Yeah, I got to get that done. Add it to the list. It's just something else to think Thanks about. for the reminder. Now <laughs> I'm like, should we do that after this live stream? Winter plans. Uh, good question. Well, coming soon. We're going, yeah, yes, south. We're not going to stick it out in Alaska. After the Q&A, we're sharing. Okay. Worried about just cooking wait. the RV. Size fan, pan will fit in the oven. Heard cooking with protein is a different animal first any other cooking tips well i mean it depends we have a three burner stove right now and it's been all right you kind of gotta smush all the pans and pots together we are, have our eyes set on the four burner stove i don't know if any of you guys are out there with the four burner stove but uh it's doable i mean propane's not that bad i, I think it's fine i agree though the oven doesn't cook like a regular oven that does our not know solitude can you see it back there wait uh, we're backwards move your head mm. We do have a convection, like a microwave slash oven convection microwave, and that's where we do all of our baking. And um, tips for cooking in the oven is get a pizza stone. Uh, the back of our oven, I think, is 12 inches, like from the front to back. Yeah. So we do have a pizza stone in our Amazon store that fits perfectly in our oven if you have like a similar, I think it's a Furion, something like that, you know, oven. Help me remember so we're on a, a question 11. Thank okay. you so much, Chris. I appreciate you very much. And another Chris. Man, you guys are wonderful. Oh my gosh. Goodness. You guys. Wanda, Mike. I appreciate you guys. That's wonderful. Pamela. Wow. I think I got you, Pamela. But you know what, Pamela? You're getting another shout out because you're just awesome. It'd be cool if we could actually like be live and see everybody. I know. Wow. I just want to like give you all hugs here. All right. On the, I said 11, right? Yeah. 11. 
Also, I see you guys are sharing tips in the live chat. Don't forget, comment those tips below this live stream. And once again, YouTube makes it complicated how to find it. I don't know. Thank you, Mark. Okay, next question. Why did each of you decide to become a nurse? I'll start this one off because he's, he was a paramedic with the nurses. Yeah, they know. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Parents were both medics and then became nurses and them and their wise wisdom is like skip being a medic and just become a nurse and go back for medic. So I did that. I listened. See, see dad, mom out there, when you say I didn't listen to you, I listened. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> yep, that was my reasoning. Why did you become a nurse? Um, For the free tote bags and pizza days, for sure. Okay, nice. <laughs> really? <laughs> All the nurses in the video are like, the tote bags. The tote There's so bags. many tote bags. Now, um, I just always wanted to be a nurse since I was little. So I was like, why not pursue that? So. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Number 12. Are you guys going to be at Hershey this year? No, we're nope. not going to make it back in time. But if you're going, have a great time. It's a blast. Yeah, it'll be a fun time. Do you guys prefer travel alone or a group with others? Well, that actually truly honestly depends. I'm going to take the lead on this one just from my perspective. Okay, I'll depends share mine Depends on then. my state of mind. Am I tired, you know, and I just want to take things at my own pace? I, sometimes I like to be on my own. But if I'm looking for adventure and hang out with friends, which is like every other day, then I want to be with people. So it yeah. just... Like anything else in life, it's all about balance. But that's why caravanning is great because you got you get to somewhere and then everyone has their downtime in their own space. Yeah. But uh, caravanning could be stressful because you have to coordinate booking RV sites with so many people. And um, yeah, I mean, both. We like being able to go at our own flow and then we also like having a group to travel with. That's true. Big shout out to BBQ with Uncle Wu. Thank you very much. And Ashley... Really appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Thank you, guys. You guys are wonderful. Okay, on to the next question. Excuse me. Nope, nope, that was the same one. Can they see the questions? Way to go, Carl. Yeah, I'm just assuming. Here's a burning question, not a Debbie Downer. You have an exit plan when it comes to RV life. Several mm. friends waited too late. Too late. Please don't get caught like they did. I'm not understanding, I guess, the question, because that's been a rave um, on YouTube lately. A lot of people have been talking about quitting RV life or why all these people are quitting. I'm not sure what m waiting too late means. I think exactly. it means with the housing market. Oh, probably. I, see, I, see. I think what they're saying. Um, okay, so um, as far as right now, we don't have any plans of quitting, right? Well, you know, when we first started RVing, we did it because of travel nursing. Mm -hmm. We just didn't want to bounce from apartment to apartment, and that's what a lot of travel nurses do. Yeah. It wasn't because we were burning to be in the RV life. Like, oh my gosh, we love the RV life. We want to do it. It's just we needed housing. Well, and we blame it on Dexter mostly because Dexter, yeah. we didn't want to expose him to new environments with weird smells all the time. We were really concerned on how he was going to handle the travel life so we took a step back we kind of researched rvs and i was like that can be kind of fun and yes. that's what led us down the rv life um and going on that <laughs> as well we when we first started out we wanted to just travel nurse for like two maybe three years at the most and then find out where we wanted to live and buy a house like that was the plan but we got so into the RV life and love just being able to go wherever that we're like, we don't see ourselves really leaving the RV life ever. So no, there is no plan because when you make plans, it causes a lot of stress and uh, we just take life as it comes at us. For sure. Big shout out to Charlie. Thank you very much. Cynthia, we appreciate you, CW. Thank wow, you so my much. goodness, thank you very much. Tampa show, up in the air, maybe, maybe. We'll see if we our travels take us. You never uh, know. East this year in the, yeah. in the uh, winter we'll time, I should say. Um, and are we going to be over near the Los Angeles area? We're going to get to that here shortly. Yeah. So big thank you for your Stay donation. Tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then LC, thank you very much. No fire issue up here as of yet, knock on wood. But so we're ner good. yeah, we are nervous about driving through Canada when it comes to fires and stuff. <clears throat> Noticed waggle device is missing. Your Alaska videos have changed monitoring systems. No, but good catch on that one. You guys are always we catching did, the though. details. Uh, well, I mean, I meant no, we're not using more. Oh, I see. That's see how my brain works. I'm sorry. That um, but I got this. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Micro air. So because we got the micro air and that runs off Wi-Fi, like with the Starlink. So Starlink gives us Wi-Fi. The mm -hmm. Waggle is great if you don't have Wi-Fi in your RV, and that's what we used for a while because we didn't have Wi-Fi. We just used the hotspot in our phones. Right. But now that we have the micro, micro air. air, we can monitor the temp. If it's connected to Wi-Fi, we can monitor the temp from our phones anywhere. Which is cool. Um, 
It took us a while to get that. Yeah, and Let's once again, it. in the Amazon store, everything yeah. we talk about is 89% of the time in the Amazon store. Yeah, do your research, though, guys. <laughs> don't feel like we're pressuring to buy all these things. Don't feel like you need all these things to get in RV life if you're watching yeah. and you're like, I don't want to buy all that. Yeah. Don't buy all of it. You don't Save need your money. Everything it's they all tell good. You to. Figure it out as you go along. We just want to see you out here on the road. Okay. Dexter, our question is what kind of system are you using for off grid camping and will you do it on a video? Or will you do a video on it? Excuse me. Well, Actually, that one first. Yeah, yeah what, we did that. Um, recently. Just recently. Yes. Like last weekend. So we did a little boondocking. And we did share in our upgrades video that we did get a whole line energy set up. We got like an inverter and some batteries. And yeah, we just went off grid camping last weekend, the weekend before. And boy, is all I got to say. We have a lot to learn when it comes to boondocking. And we're we sharing do. it all, like once again. We do. Um, and this question's about the bus bar that you installed. Like, was it as easy as just screwing them in? Yeah. It was really Plug easy. Plug and play. Yeah, bus bar isn't really that complicated. And like, I was new to it as as well. So I'm just saying from my um, my viewpoint, it wasn't very complicated. So all you did was screw in a couple Phillips screws, and then you just wired the negative to one terminal, and then the positive on the other terminal bus bar, and you're good to go. So yeah, but making sure it's like the right gauge wire. Yeah, that was a little bit of a problem. A uh, big learning curve on that one, and we're gonna update you guys as we go along. As you saw in the videos, it's kind of messy looking. It's not professional. We didn't pay anyone to get it installed uh, in a certain way. We didn't have any dealer like make sure it was like perfect looking. We just wanted to keep it very basic, mm -hmm. standard as if you guys were going out and making the purchase. That's what we're going for. So it's sloppy, but we'll, we'll we'll figure it out together. That stuff does make me nervous when you connect wires and things. It I always does. think everything's going to explode. So if you have fears like that, mm -hmm. you're not alone. <laughs> okay. That was that one. Okay. You want to read this one, Mrs. Nay, Nay? This one's about Starlink. They're um, asking if Starlink's been good up <clears> the north. <throat> well, you tell me. How's this live stream doing? <laughs> Are we are we still clear or did we lose you guys like 35 minutes ago? They're like, no, we dropped off. We're not even there anymore. We could be talking to nobody right now for all we know. I feel like if we didn't have Starlink coming up here, we would be... In a pickle. In a pickle for sure. Like, I'm glad we have it because there's been times where there was zero cell service. And even though the Starlink will go through periods of trying to search for a satellite, it still would give you like decent service yeah absolutely it's pulled us out of some sticky situations so we're really thankful to have it it's good enough but as we make our way back down to lower 48 taking a different route might i add we're going to be sharing more on we're collecting so much data to see like if this is going to be great if you guys are thinking of doing this next year or something but just to close out that question as you go down into some parts of canada i noticed that the satellites were few and far between yeah. and that's the only time we kind of ran in this situation was having those lack of satellites in the air, mm -hmm. it would come around once in a while, you'd have service for a second and then would drop back off. Yeah, especially in the Yukon area, so. Okay, I'm gonna read that next one and I'm gonna give a shout out to Ibro Boron. Thank you very much, that's awesome. Have you already done a video about route planning, apps, and then apps for like underpass, like being high enough? RV Life is our go-to for route planning and keeping track of where we've been and then looking at reviews and photos. Mm -hmm. Um, for looking at underpasses, you can look into um, the All Stays app as well. Like you can filter for just underpasses. So if we're heading into a city or a town, and I'm like, well, it seems like there could be like train passes and this and that or tunnels, I will quick filter on that app to show low clearances. Yeah. And then also a free app is the Truck Map. So if you want to just try something out before purchasing anything, that's all. Truck nice. Map will send you where the 18 wheelers go. If you're a big rig. If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> All right, here we go. A couple questions. I'll try to answer. Oh, this is the... Oh Why would my, my t tank sensors not read accurately? Um, I hear you. My, yeah. Ours haven't read accurately since 1965. <laughs> <laughs> just really big throwback there, huh? <laughs> yeah. They say, uh, it's just, wow, it's it's a mess. I don't know if they'll ever read accurately again. We just don't go off it. We wait till our toilet burps, I know, TMI. Yeah. And then, uh, or the water fl today, back flows in the shower. I just took a shower, I know. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I smell good today. That's why Dexter's. And, uh, the water was like filling up in the shower. I'm like, babe, can you go pull the gray tank? Can you go let her rip? Yeah, like, can you go let her rip? She's like, fine, oh. I guess. Okay. Uh, 
what um what else I want to say about the tank sensors? You can have like people come clean your tanks or whatever. We've never done that, but it's probably a good idea. I feel like even though you could have them professionally cleaned, they still might not read accurately. So just find your own system to know if they're full. Um, oh, and this one is great. This is a great question. I don't think I've ever had this question before. I've not moved the trailer since I got it. And can or should I relevel periodically if I'm not planning on traveling for a while? This is really great because sometimes when we are parked in mud or grass and we settle a little bit, we will relevel. Mm -hmm. Now, some people will say, oh, you shouldn't level if your slides are in. You shouldn't do this and that. I know there's a lot we shouldn't do that we sometimes do. Um, but we will sometimes re hit the auto level button if we feel like we've settled on one side or the other. So. If you're parked on hard surface or gravel, yeah. I would say you're okay and you don't have to re-level. That makes sense. What do you think? I think that's probably accurate. I mean, sometimes we don't even think of it. We're no. just like sideways and we're like, yeah. ah, We just kind of go with the flow. That's fine. Yeah, you know, we're easy going. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. That was really nice. All right. You two are sick puppy nuts crazy. <laughs> you two are made for each other. I know. <laughs> Thank you very so much. So sweet. I have a question. When is the new Thanks ha Hanks cap and shirts? I don't know. In progress. So that's why we brought Jeannie on board. We kind of have been spreading ourselves thin. We have a lot going on up here. So we're trying to put it on paper, prioritize. It's coming soon. Mm -hmm. So just keep on looking at the newsletters. That's all we can encourage you guys to do because the newsletter <coughs> people are going to be the first to know about it. Yes. If you don't know how to sign up for the newsletter, happilyeverhanks.com happilyeverhanks.com you can even send us a message on there if you want scroll to the bottom it's free yeah need we say more it's free you just gotta you gotta open them and read them that's it that's all we ask okay how'd you guys boondock without lithium battery batteries we have an agm battery that came with the rv um i have a lot to say about this one not a lot but i just you know i'm passionate about the fact <clears throat> that everyone's like you have to have this crazy solar setup to go out Mm -hmm. and experience dry camping well that's why we avoided it for so long i mean i was naive into it i was like well maybe they're right i'm not sure your agm battery is on board because it can run basic things your slides your lights your water pump most rigs so think of your rv as a glorified tent you can take that thing and park it anywhere and camp now can you glamp that's a little different i don't think you're going to be able to like stream tv as much and you know run your outlets yeah but just getting off grid and just having some lights and being able to run the water and flush your toilets you can do that with a battery yes granted there's a lot more that goes into it but we're just covering the surface here we just took a chance i'm assuming we're talking about the beach boondocking yeah situation and that was just a test trial before we dove into lithium batteries mm -hmm. we wanted to give it a trial run to see how long it was stood what we were our normal somewhat normal living with right. running the lights and stuff so it did great i was very surprised but we've also just did some boondocking with our lithium batteries that we upgraded to yeah. i'm not saying don't get lithium batteries i think lithium batteries are great and most people should have them but you're talking like two hundred dollars versus a thousand dollars so easily and we're in the process of doing all that data collection as well because, Woo! i'm doing yeah. this a lot finger guns finger guns that's it easy there tiger <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your content. Top notch. Thank you very much. So the burning question, what did you hang your pictures with in your trailer? Command strips. Command strips. A lot strips. of command strips. And they hold up sometimes. They don't other times. Um, especially when it gets humid inside the RV and we're not running the dehumidifier as much as we should yeah. be. You'll just like... The jackets will just fall off in the hallway. They'll fall off while we're sleeping and we're like, who's that? Who is that? We wake up like thinking someone's clothes are on us. the floor <laughs> it just happens but for the most part command strips non-invasive you don't have to drill into your rv walls i'm loving that okay for your content thank you well thank you what is your least and favorite thing about rv life mm. i could say mine while you think of yours i already know what mine is mine okay let me ahead. go first because i'll probably okay okay forget. you will. my favorite okay. thing is the flexibility of being able to go and see new places all the time I know it's kind of cliche, but it really is. Like, you Wait, look... the, the least favorite? No, I said oh, my favorite thing. Oh, least and favorite. Oh, I got to have least and favorite. Oh, no. Looks like someone was not ready to take the reins. I'm not prepared on that one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, what I was getting at is um, we just enjoy being able to have the flexibility. Go visit family across the, uh, the country. See new places as we go along. 
I just don't know how we would ever go back to sticks and bricks once we found this lifestyle. It's just hard to say. Anyways, my least favorite part actually goes hand in hand with that kind of, with that flexibility, not a lot of people are living this lifestyle the same way, especially at our age, younger age, it's just not as common. And uh, it's just hard sometimes to make connections out on the road. Mm -hmm. not, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it is. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's just everyone's living the same lifestyle and just, I don't know. It's just hard sometimes. So yeah. that's been a struggle for me is just making connections out on the road. Yeah, because people will watch our videos where we caravan and we have all these friends that we RV with. And mm -hmm. they're like, I want that so bad. How do I get that? I've just... I'm about to go RVing or I've been RVing for a year. Just know that we've been RVing for six years and it takes a while for you to find like your RV besties yeah. in a way. It takes a little bit and you'll find them. You just got to get out there, go to rallies, um, go to like events or campgrounds where they have community things going on and right. you'll, you'll find your people. Um, Least favorite is missing family. I think you said something like that. Yeah. Always miss family and friends mm -hmm. from back home. And then favorite thing is very the same thing being able to call everywhere home so cool i like that thank you kathy very much for your kind generosity and neil like goodness gracious thank you so much thank we really you. appreciate that that's wonderful okay we've been right along how are y'all so awesome well you guys are awesome ah. you guys are awesome this is like the community <laughs> we created so right back at you uh any tips on how to learn to edit our videos we started out portland poorly edited on iMovie um thanks Hanks. okay so the editing we're nurses and i had no idea how to edit videos no they idea. had no idea how to do the music in the videos just watch youtube it's a free resource and take it in bite-sized pieces yeah just learn one thing at a time because if you let your mind wander and you're like i want my video to look like these top youtubers or mm -hmm. these movies i watch it just it's so unrealistic so it's something i have to remind myself every week Look how far I've come in my editing. Just enjoy and be thankful for what I got. So that's what I say is try to learn something new every day and just apply it. Yeah, every week you're learning something new just or a faster way to edit or shortcut. So it's an ongoing thing. So Just little snippets. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I think that was the same one. Yep. Okay. Great. Thank you, Melissa, very much for your kindness. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Melissa. How long are you away from family? Does your family ever meet up with you to no but to visit they, okay. sh they should mm -hmm. yeah hello mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot of room in here for them to sleep uh <laughs> we try it's hard sometimes we get caught up in our travels and just yeah live in life and time goes by so quickly so yeah i like to say we get to our family yearly we try to we try to well sometimes it's like ugh, sometimes you see them so much you'll yeah. see them like every uh, six months or this and that and then you'll go like two or three years without seeing them yeah that's a little drastic it's never been that long but we try our best we to, try you know the issue is that his family's in california mine's in pennsylvania none of them are in the south for the winter no <laughs> which we're like hello so um it's really hard because uh, you have to visit the right season and travel back and forth this and that a lot of moving pieces for it's sure. the struggle when you get into this lifestyle it's struggle like, bus you know yeah. you leave your family and then um you come back and it's amazing but trying to coordinate constantly coming back is hard that can be hard it's a challenge okay how do you wash your rig ah that is such a great question because i haven't done it and okay can i be honest with you guys <laughs> no. you got to keep it within this chat though no don't honesty. tell anybody <clears throat> I have not washed the RV one time since we came up to Alaska. I'm going to throw it out on the line and say my laziness and my procrastination is out of control. And the reason is, is because everything is so dusty up here. The roads, it's off-road, mud, rain. And I'm like, what is the point of going and just cleaning this thing just for the next <laughs> travel day? I mean, take for example, I cleaned these back windows the other day. The next day it rained and they're back to being completely dirty. So is that a bad excuse or what? Okay, I'm off Are my soapbox. Yeah, and I'm always, like, making little hints when I walk past the rig. I'm like, ooh, she's so, you see? She's dirty. And I run my finger across it, and he's like, I know. You're like, wash me. You're like, <laughs> wash, wash me in the windows and on the side of the it's truck. It's a constant drop. But what do you use when you wash it? What's the product you use? Oh, um... It's no, in our shoot. store, Amazon store. It's like Aero Cosmetics, I believe. Yeah. And, um, it's... It's a dry... Yeah, it's like a dry wash except you spray it is that considered dry i'm not sure 
you don't have to use a lot of water or you don't have to use any water at all if you don't want you spray it on and it washes and waxes at the same time and they use it on airplanes which is pretty cool can you tell we don't wash our rig enough because we don't know how to answer this question we're doing we're doing okay i think you know just kind of <laughs> i need to get out i'm gonna go wash the rig after this okay no you're not <laughs> i know, I know. <laughs> let's, be, let's be real okay uh how do you keep track of how much weight or your rig weighs with all the crap that's loaded is there a formula somewhere to help you calculate these things also how windy do you let it get before your pull and your awning have you used tie downs or just left it out okay good questions so weighing um like you're gonna want to visit like cat scales i think you have to pay for those there's yeah. probably free ways to do it i think escapees has a program too where they can like weigh certain parts that they have a really detailed weigh system so if you're ever at an escapees RV park and you see something about an RV way system, we've never done it. Maybe we'll do it and film it. It'd be mm -hmm. cool. But um, yeah, we don't weigh our rig as much as we should. <laughs> no, we actually got rid of, um, I don't even think I told you guys about this yet. We got rid of our Blackstone, believe it or not. Ooh, th that's an announcement. That was in California. I, forgot, I forgot to mention that. Ooh. We just didn't use it all that much. And Nay and I were talking recently. Yesterday I donated a bunch of clothes and it's just crazy. How much stuff piles up in the RV life? You think you sell everything and hit the road, you're never gonna have to worry about it again? Think again, mm -hmm. because you're constantly having to read downsize. And you'll constantly justify why you need each thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you really have to justify in this life because yeah. there's no just going out and spending money on things. You can't, I feel like that's why RVers are so good at not spending a ton of, mon ton of money because mm -hmm. you really can't buy yeah. a lot of stuff yeah we find ourselves spending more money on like experiences that we're going to remember <laughs> rather than things that are just gonna sit there take up space and add to the weight so if that kind of answers your question just always continue to downsize and the awning question we never have our awning out because we don't trust anything <laughs> yeah. we will if it's a sunny day and we notice zero wind but um genie our moderator her and devin were we were parked near them in arizona and um, there, it was like not windy at all. I think we had our awning out too. And they were sitting outside and just a tornado wind gust just <laughs> ripped that thing right apart. Yeah, And um, not good. Yeah, it was really it was really rough. It's crazy how quick that happens, so. Yeah, it's not the wind, like it's not the average wind, it's just that once the and gust. done gust that gets you, so. Yeah, and people are like, well, mine has a sensor. But mm. I mean, it's gonna sense. Once it's ripped <laughs> off. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna be like it's gonna be hanging upside down being like hey you should probably be rolling us in wizard of oz like going to can or goodness gracious kansas there i'm trying to think oh we make uh, ourselves laugh don't goodness we? we just crack ourselves up thank you so much cns <laughs> rights reets uh we appreciate you guys thank you so much oh that's so wonderful and yeah okay oh, so. wait i just want to quickly check to see something. thank you david but while I'm looking for something, tell them what's coming. We're we're all we're sharing our travel plans, but tell them how Alaska's been going without giving away too much. Okay. Like all the adventures we've been going on. Yeah. Except don't tell them. Well, what? How, <laughs> tell like, them, but don't like, tell them. Talk to talk to your friends, but don't don't really talk to them. Don't tell them what's going on. Just kind of tell them what's going on. I don't know. Alaska's um, been good. It's been amazing up here. It's it's a whole new world for sure, and we would encourage anyone to come visit it if you get the chance. There's a lot of adventures coming up Ugh, in our videos. So, we can't wait. You know, We've been be on the lookout for those. I think a lot of people think our Alaska uh, videos and adventure is over because the season's over. But don't forget how far behind our videos are. So like we have so much to share. So like just <laughs> keep just hold on, hold on to your britches. Goodness, Neolite, thank you very much. What what is going on? You guys, on? you guys, are you guys um, we have some. I got some questions, really nice. some super chat Thank questions you. here. Um, are we traveling through Western Canada from BW, um, Alberta? We would like to drive a little bit through Alberta on the way down. Maybe vi uh, visit Banff and Jasper. Jasper, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna throw it out there. Where there's potential for a Canada meetup but we need to figure out a lot of stuff. Um, so we can't say for sure if we're gonna be able to pull it off, but we would really love to meet a lot of people from Canada yeah. on our way yeah. down. Yeah, see our Canada peeps. Yeah, cause we like, we feel so bad that we like drove so fast through, 
got to Alaska, but it was because you need to do Canada by itself. Like we knew that this season we're doing Alaska. We got to get to Alaska. So we maximize our time. Canada is going to need like so much time in itself to visit. Yeah, absolutely. How are the mosquitoes in Alaska? Oh yeah. They are not bad. Okay. So at first when we got across the border, it was so bad. Sorry. This is there. Thank oh, there we light on the situation. It was really bad, but lately not too bad. surprisingly. So. Well, we don't go outside much, so maybe that's why. No, no, that's not the case. <laughs> um, we answered some of these already. Thank you, Dandy. Oh, we, at, we answered all of these. I've... Okay, wonderful. So we're all caught up. Okay, so what is the official? Thank you, Lewis. Hello from our fifth field, fifty state honeymoon RV. Quick question: How do you remove the bad smell out of your toilet? Love your content. Flush, 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 and then just maybe try a new product. We recently did a product and we didn't really care for it so we switched back and uh it does wonders it's amazing just trying a new product we'll switch it, it up a little unique bit. yeah unique is the new one We've that we're using, using. That one. and that's been working great i don't know i really like it it's unique we <sighs> hmm. okay that's we used thing. to use like aqua chem and mm -hmm. if a lot of you guys have been rving for a while and used to use that they switched the product and i think it's because it used to contain a really harmful chemical i swear it used to contain like formaldehyde or something oh, sure for sure. And like it did a great job because of whatever dangerous chemical they put in it. And then they switched it to Aqua Chem Max and now it's not as good. And I'm like, Walmart, where's the dangerous chemicals? Guys? Walmart, you're cheaping out on us. Let's be real here. <laughs> All right. Let's get into where we would like to RV this winter or okay. what our next, I guess, like challenge slash destination would yeah. like to be. Take the lead. All right. I want to hear from you. Okay. We have been thinking, and once again, this could change. You just never know when it comes to weather or family things. Um, we would really like to RV from the coast of California, like the top of California, and go all the way down to San Diego. We've always wanted to winter in San Diego or mm -hmm. just visit San Diego in general. And I know they just got hit with some tropical weather, so we are monitoring everything right now. Um, but we would like to do that that'd starting cool. next year. Highway one. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be beautiful. The more you RV, the more you learn that you just have to take everything in bite sized pieces. Of course we would love to start all the way in Washington and go down, but it's winter time and it's also like, you just don't have much time. Yeah. So that's true. we want to just pick one spot and just call that and be able to see everything on the way down. Might be a good point. Like when you get an RV, you're always in such a rush to see everything. Yes. And we're like six years later and we haven't even begun to see what we wanted to see. It's just, it's crazy. There's so much to see. <clears throat> you need multiple months in just one state because of yeah. how much there is to see. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have to come back to Alaska soon because Alaska is Alaska just. Alaska is amazing. In itself. Yeah, we haven't even touched the surface. Yeah, you want to definitely add Alaska to your list if you're thinking of RVing someday or you do RV. And uh, we really would like to do the Northeast Coast. So there's potential to, um, after San Diego, shoot across the states and finally do like, a, I grew up in Pennsylvania, but never have visited like above that state. So. Yeah. And uh, where, where are you going? I'm just getting back to you real quick. Oh, okay, it's fine. He needs to add his opinion anyway. So yeah, those are tentative travel plans, what we'd like to hit up. So what we want from you guys is to, comment in the actual comments below because this live chat i don't know which side it's on of the screen you're seeing this live chat that you're seeing that goes really fast will disappear and we might not get to see your comments so comment in the comments below dexter point where below is for everyone down, down. remember youtube's complicated we so you have everyone. to really look um let us know where like specifically we should travel where you know where we're already going and what we should check out. Yeah. That'd be things fun. like that. That'd be awesome. Thank you, Cash, very much. I really appreciate that. You guys have made this night. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight and taking your time out of your lovely Sunday evenings. It, it means a lot to us. Yeah. We really appreciate you guys and all the love and support you show us every single week. We you say this amazing. all the time that we have such a great audience. We meet a lot of you guys out on the road, and I'm like, they are so sweet. Like, everyone we meet is so sweet, so fun making us laugh. You remind us that the world's still a good place to be. Yes. So thank you guys. There's a lot of good people out there. So, well, we hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Thank you again for being here. And 
I want to say a good night from the Hanks family. What do you think, Dexie? Yeah, you want to go get nighty food? Night. Nighty oh, night. Oh, it's almost time for his dinner. Time for dinner. <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you next Thursday, okay? Thank you to our moderator.